You're watching DCTV. Now here's your host, the voice, Dave Canning. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. It's you, it's me, it's DCTV. Uh huh. Let's start the show. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is you, it is me, it is NRD and H2P. Welcome to the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast and our predictions for the Royal Rumble 2022. It all starts here. The Tom Says Highway to Heck, the road to WrestleMania begins Saturday at the Royal Rumble. We are here. We are ready to give our predictions for the Royal Rumble to determine the order for how we uh, will give our predictions this year. Just like the Royal Rumble entrance in the Wrestling Nerd Rumble, we have all drawn numbers at random. So to uh, announce it, please welcome our guest ring announcer, Dave C. The Fink. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all find out who drew number one. It's me. I drew number one. This is ridiculous that I have to be number one. But you know what? Number one, number one always. And I will be number one by the time it is all said and done. I will be the first man in and I will be the last man standing. So first for our predictions, we go to the raw side of the card. We are going to predict the women, the raw women's championship match between the champion Becky Lynch against her challenger, Dewdrop. So for this one, I have the man, Becky Lynch, retaining her championship. So let us all find out who drew number two. I drew number two, me? All right. Well... That's awesome that I go number two behind Dave because, you know, the best way to win the crown is just to go with the same answer that Dave picks. No, so no, 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 this is ridiculous. Uh, this, I'm not getting screwed over again. If this is how we're going to do things, this isn't fair. You know, we've been doing this for over a year and I edit this show every week and I come up with the format, but now I'm going to get screwed out of my own creation. This is my crowd. Okay. And I got screwed at full gear and survivors. You want to do this? You want to play that game? Nick? That's fine. I don't need to be here. I don't need to be a part of this. No, no, thanks. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nick, what did you do? Oh, no. Well, welcome, everybody, to the HRD podcast. No, wait, no it would be the uh, the NRH podcast. No. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. Let's <laughs> all find now. out who drew number three. I haven't picked my pick yet, Harold. You just said you were picking Dave's picks. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, officially, I'm selecting... Big money backs, Becky Lynch. Huh? Wonderful selection, Nick. Who drew number three? That'd be me. That's my oh. lucky number. Number three. Okay, I'm going to... I wasn't going to do this. I'm going to go wild card. I'm going to say Dewdrop. Oh. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I like to be oh. different. And, I, and I, I like to show off my... Evenly, you know, my 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 skull. It's uh, it's uh, symmetrical. I don't want to put a crown on it and hide it. So, you will look great with a crown, Ryan. It's too noisy. Oh, <laughs> too noisy. Baby. Well, I guess that leaves me lucky number four, and I gotta agree with the king, the rightful king, Mr. Nick Carpenter. I'm gonna say the man, Becky Two Belts, Big Money Bets. Becky Lynch is going to retain that title. Yeah. Guys, I guess since, uh, since Dave decided to be a little big baby, if you don't mind, I can, I can facilitate the guesses. Yeah, we're going to need a new host for sure. Yeah. It's you. It's me. It's Harold Dove puppet with his best friends, Nick and Ryan. And we're going to finish the Royal Rumble. Yeah. So the next match, let's go with another big title match. How about the 
head of the table, Roman, no, yeah, Roman Reigns against Seth freaking Rollins. What do you say, Nick? Well, it's hard to choose when I don't have Dave to steal the answers from, but I feel like Dave would pick Roman Reigns, so I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. <laughs> oh, Roman Reigns. Ryan. Uh, also, you know, in memory of Dave, I want to I want to pick uh, Roman, and I don't want Joe to come after me either, my fellow uh, cue ball brother. Yep. That's crazy. It looks like a clean sweep for Mr. Roman Reigns. And I got to say, I agree with you, Ryan. The number one reason I'm picking Roman Reigns is because I like that Joe Lemonhead guy. And I want to go and be his friend even better than I am. So I'm saying Roman Reigns. That's three for Roman. Let's see. Let's see. What match should we do next? Let's get one that I'm not excited about out of the way. How about the Beast? Brock Lesnar against that guy, Bobby Lashley, that some people like, and at one point was married to Lana. Yeah. Um, uh, see, this is a hard one to choose. I'm going to go underdog. I'm picking Bobby Lashley to beat Brock Lesnar. Okay. That's a wonderful, wonderful choice. I'm kind of regretting going with Dewdrop earlier, my, my original plan. So I'm going to stick to what I originally thought, you know, what do they call it? Your first instinct, uh, Brock Lester, I'm going with the beast. Whoa. You see, I'm going to compliment everyone's guesses because that's what a good host would do. He would be friendly to his friends. I'm going to agree with Nick again. I think fellow bald guy that matches my friend Ryan, but Ryan's a little bit smaller. I'm going to go with Bobby Lashley to win the title championship belt. Now up next, we got the battle of the couples. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. We got The Miz and his lovely wife, who's super talented, Maurice, against Edge. And I saw a tweet that she was mad. And Beth Phoenix. The Glamazon. I think that's what she's called. What do you say, King? Um, I'm going to have to go with Edge and Beth Phoenix to beat The Miz and Maurice. That sounds cool. I, that was my original thought also. I'm hoping, uh, yeah. Beth, you know, coming back, she's she's got to get a, a nice win. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that Beth Phoenix would benefit from a win way more than Maurice would. And that's why I think that Vincent McMahon is going to push Miss Beth Phoenix over the top to become a big force in the WWE once again. So I'm saying Edge and Beth Phoenix. All right. I think we only got two more left. What do you guys think we should do first? The men's rumble or the women's rumble? King Nick, I'll let you decide. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's do the men's. Why not? All right. Up next, we got the men's rumble. Over the top rope, 30 men. Boom, boom, pow. Every few seconds, a new wrestler's going to come out. Who's going to come out on top, Nick? Well, I'm back and forth in this one. I thought maybe Big E would win. Didn't Big E win last year? I thought maybe, uh, or no, he won the Money in the Bank. So maybe he wins the Royal Rumble. Maybe Drew McIntyre, because he never got to have his match in front of all the fans that he truly deserved. Uh, but I'm going to go with the man that dropped the title to Bobby Lashley earlier in the night, Brock Lesnar. To be a surprise entrance and win the Royal Rumble to go on to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Brock Lesnar! What do you say, Ryan? Um, I think, well, I guess, uh, I don't know about you guys, at the time of recording, we only know 22 of the 30 entrants. 
I'm not a good WWE guesser on who's going to come in. I didn't even think about Drew. That'd be awesome, Nick. Um, I'm going to go Big E, though. You know, his, his, his rise back to WrestleMania to a big match, hopefully. I think you just can't find those hips. Irresistible. Whoa, 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 Big E. <laughs> I'm going to throw a wrench in the, the dryer, and I'm going to make a lot of racket on this one. I'm coming from left field. I'm going to say redemption for the quickest elimination. I'm going with one and only Santino. Good choice. I like it. I think it's time for that, that snake to come Maybe, back. Wasn't he a runner-up in a Royal Rumble one year? I think he was in one not too long ago. For I sure think he's funny, he and like he's gotten the, super swole. It was like him and Mysterio, or him and somebody were like the last two. Huh. Oh, I don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to Google it. How fast was that elim elimination? Like one, two, three seconds? I'm going to say very fast. Because I think I read today, if I, if I can trust the internet, um, I think what... Which we've learned you cannot. That's <laughs> true. I My sources are not always the best I'm finding out. Um, but uh, Bushwhacker Luke, I think he got eliminated in four seconds. So I, I didn't kind of space that Santino took that, that prestigious record. Yeah, I remember that. He went, Luke would came in all like, hoo, 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 and then right out of the ring, and then hoo, 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 back to the back <laughs> ring. But I think Santino was like a second and a half or something. Oh, wow. If Dave wasn't being such a crybaby, we would probably have the numbers. That's true. But that's okay. So I'm saying Santino. This is the first match. We are all different. Hey, Nick. Yeah. What do you okay. think about that ladies' rumble? <clears throat> Well, I've seen some rumors circulating the internet. Any innuendo? The, on the dirt sheets. And uh, I think another surprise return win. Uh, Raul, uh, Ronda Rousey is going to win the Royal, Women's Royal Rumble and go on to fight Becky Lynch at WrestleMania. Rowdy, rowdy, Ronda. Rowdy, rowdy, Ronda. Rousey. Whoa. Okay. Dang. Well, I I try and usually just go off my gut, but I, I looked uh, up the rumors and innuendo as well. I don't know how legit it is. People thought Paige might come back. I don't know her all that well, the scream, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess another wild card. Maybe she'll come back and win it. You're going with Paige? Yeah. Yeah, Paige. Whoa! Good choice. Big fan of Paige. So far, two out of the three of us have guessed surprise entrants. I don't know. And now it's I'm most not, excited. It's hard to pick when I don't have Dave to steal his answers. It's like. I say, and we only know 21 of the 30 entrants right now, too. It makes, makes it difficult. I really like the surprise. And speaking of surprises, my pick for the women's Royal Rumble should be of no surprise to anybody because she's my favorite wrestler. And I think we're going to get it back. As a good girl, I think the hugger, Bailey, is coming back with those wacky, Ooh. wailing, inflatable, arm flailing two men. And it's going to be like, hey, hey, Bailey. Ooh, uh, I want to know, will you win the match? Yeah, I'm picking mm -hmm. Bailey. We want some Bailey. I love Bailey so much. I think her hair's getting long so she can have a ponytail again and be a good girl. Hey, Harold, do you, or maybe Tom, I don't know, do you like Bailey's Irish cream? No. Okay. I, I don't think Tom has ever even had it. Oh, it's good in coffee. I know, no, uh, not uh, on a weekday, just on a weekend, not on a work day. I'll have to tell Tom to start drinking alcohol in the morning because you said to. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. No, I got that off the internet, so let me double check, fact check that first. Maybe not. I'll call my friend Chris Castro and he'll let me know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess uh, friends of the broad broadcast, patrons, nerds, I want to say one, thank you for watching the Royal Rumble predictions. Thank you so much for your support. One way you can support the broadcast is by joining our Patreon. There's three tiers. And the first tier, I think, gets you in our Facebook Messenger group chat. Whoa, that group chat is getting lit, fam. Yeah, it's on fleek. So you should join that. You can subscribe to our YouTube, www.youtube.com 
slash Dave C, the voice, I think. Just type in the Wrestling Nerd Broadcast. That is nerd, spelled N-R-N-D. But maybe the deal will be gone soon. I don't know. You can go on ProWrestlingTees.com and buy our very cool, very sweet shirts and hats. And maybe in the near future, some new products. There's another secret group chat going on about that. You can follow me, Harold the Puppet, on Instagram at Harold underscore the D-A underscore Puppet. Yeah, I'm also on TikTok. Same thing. I've been posting videos of me singing songs. Big, I'm just a sexy the, boy, yeah, sexy yeah. boy. <laughs> and I guess, as Dave Canning would say, someone says something, I say something, and then something happens. <laughs> Tell your mother you love her. And I guess that's a wrap. And God bless America. Wait, what, what is that? What is that? It's you, it's me, it's number 30. I told you all I would be the first man in, but more importantly, the last man standing. It is me, it's Dave C. The Voice, the number 30 entrant in the Rumble, and with the luck of the draw on my side, I will now successfully make my picks for the Royal Rumble without that cheating coward Nick Carpenter to screw me once again. Now, I must say, I did hear in the back while waiting for my number to be called, I heard Nick's predictions, and I liked a lot of what he had to say. And fortunately for me, I got to take a little bit of notes as he went. So let's go in order. Let's go in the exact same order that the nerds went in. We will start with Becky Lynch and Dewdrop. I have Becky Lynch winning that as well. I have her retaining the Raw title. Then we go to Roman versus Seth for the Universal title. I have Roman winning that as well. And then we go to Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. I was torn by this as well. And uh, I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I was very conflicted on what to go to, but I like Nick's strategy. So, you know what I said? I agree. And I think Bobby Lashley is going to win the WWE championship from Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. And then we go to, uh, go to Edge and Beth Phoenix versus the Miz and Maurice, the grit couple versus the it couple. You'll notice those hosts of the predictions did happen to mention that tagline because what's the point of a tagline if we're not going to use it, right, fellas? Come on. Often imitated, never replicated. There's only one host, one true king, and that's going to be me at the Rumble. So I as well, I'm going to go with the grit couple like the nerds did. I'll be honest. Why do I hang out with them? Because we have like-minded thoughts a lot of the times. So I am too. I'm going to go with Edge and Beth Phoenix. And then we go to the Men's Royal Rumble. Why would Brock Lesnar drop the title if he's not going to go back into the Rumble, pull double duty on the night, and win the Royal Rumble? Yes, that's right. I am going with the Beast to go back into the Rumble and win, and then he will eventually challenge Roman Reigns for the Universal title at WrestleMania. And then we go to the Women's Royal Rumble. And so we go back to 2019. That was the last time that uh, – that was the last WrestleMania I went to. And it was headlined by three amazing women, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, and a rowdy Ronda Rousey. We haven't seen Ronda Rousey since then. She's given birth, has a kid now. She's living her best life. But she's got some unfinished business. We have a match that we have been dying to see, clamoring to see, since Survivor Series in 2018. We wanted to see Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. But Nia Jackson, her unstoppable fist, got in the way of Becky Lynch's face, and that match wasn't able to happen. I think it's going to happen at WrestleMania. We're going to have Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey. How do we get there? Ronda Rousey can finally point at the WrestleMania sign all she wants and wins the Royal Rumble. <clears throat> now, hmm, we would be tied. And hmm, you can't win the title of King of the Nerds on a tie, can you? If only we had something to, to, to break that tie. A tiebreaker. That's right. Harold, you poor blue fluffy puppet, were you too busy hanging out with Tom and were unable to think clearly with a clear thought in your head? 
or was his hand too far up your rear end to have a clear thought for the day? Because thanks to me, the future king of the nerds, I was smart enough to get everyone's tiebreakers mailed to me, which is why I have them on this list. We have the un we have our official tiebreaker times here. You see that Nick clocked in both Royal Rumbles, and this is how the tiebreaker is determined. It will be the time of both Royal Rumbles combined, according to Wikipedia, as we've done in the past. So we have Nick at two hours and four minutes, Ryan Crossley clocks them in at one hour, 47 minutes, and 58 seconds, and Harold, the puppet and wannabe host of this show, two hours, eight minutes, and 36 seconds. So where does Dave wind up on this? Hmm. If only I had some sort of strategy with the number 30. That's why I had my time signed, sealed, and delivered, which is why at the Royal Rumble, I predict that both will have a time of two hours, three minutes, and 59 seconds. And you can book that. Hashtag and new king of the nerds. Because of the Royal Rumble, number 30 will be number one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to go to prowrestlingtees.com slash the wrestling nerd broadcast and get your nerd merch. One of the lucky nerds and patrons will get their opportunity to get a free shirt and hat, and they will get the opportunity to go down the Tom Says Highway to Heck, the road to WrestleMania, and compete against me for my crown at WrestleMania. And in God forbid, some miracle happens, and I don't win the crown at, Wrestle at Royal Rumble. Don't worry. I'll take it easy on you on both night one and two at WrestleMania. To the nerds and the patrons participating in the Royal Rumble, good luck, because at WrestleMania, you're going to need it. To Nick, Ryan, and Harold, you thought you could outsmart me, but there is no one better than the king, Dave C. The Voice. Bow down, and like Kevin Durant said, for you ignorant puppet. Tell your mother you love her every day because like Kevin Durant said, Mom, you're the real MVP. Good night, everyone. Bow down to the future king. And let's get ready to rumble. God bless America.